Hi guys, welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Before I start, I spoke about some technical difficulties in last week's comments. Oh my goodness, like two weeks ago, I had uploaded my video by midday and I went about my business. You know, you can have, you can either schedule the video to go live at five or you can physically just set it to public. I'm setting it to public and I'm ready to publish the video and it's telling me, wait, it's checking some something, come back in a few minutes. I was like an hour away. I had to dash home. Um, it took me an hour to get home, so by the time I got home, so the video that was um, uploaded from midday is now released at 6.30. That was so frustrating. And then last week, I don't know, for some apparent reason, my tripod just tipped over with my camera. Now it doesn't close completely. It has like, <laughs> I had to force it open for, for me to be able to film the second half. Um, which is why I switched out the cameras after it topped over to a different, it's just, I'm like, why? And then loading it, it's like taking forever. I don't know if it's internet or poltergeist, <laughs> but I have the, I literally have the, um, video ready to go and it just will not, um, release. But all that to say is when I get the comments at the end, I am literally lying in bed, like lol all the way so thank you guys i really appreciate your comments and um your patience with these technical difficulties these last few weeks i'm trying to stay on top of it but every week it's like something else that i'm like what um this week i went to red white and blue and that is in patterson new jersey i haven't been there in a while it's a massive space the thing is it's a lot of a lot but not necessarily um quality like dynamic pieces that I'd like to see. So it really is a good sift and walk through. Um, but I haven't been there in a while, so I did want to go and give it a look. And so I'm going to go into the come fifth with me for that. And then I'll come back here and show you what I got. I'm starting in shoes this time and all the ballet flat vibes. This is a cute, um, like fabric print. It is a six and a half. So too small for me, but very cute. Not so much ballet flats, but the cute little ankle line. Very Mew Mew vibes with this. I do have a pair of Castanio wedges, but I, like a moth to a flame, still came to this. But then I realized this is a nine and a half, so too big. <laughs> I'm like Goldilocks here, too small, too big. These are a cute pair of bands. It's like brown and white high tops. I'm pretty sure it's not my size. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not my size, but these are cute. You see now, this is my jam. <laughs> little embellishments. Oh, fun little ballet flats. Uh, I'm not sure if it's my size. This is by Elements by Nina. <laughs> Someone commented last week that they noticed I don't shop shoes, but really... <laughs> I try to stay away from shoes, to be honest. But these are looking quite funky, and they, they're size eight, so they're a little, they're a little big, but um, very funky. <laughs> This is a fun pair of um, Chloe dupes. These are by Via Spiga. They're well worn, but too small. I tell you, I'm Goldilocks. It's too small or it's too big. But yeah, their shoes are color coded, so this is the black section. Now we're in the brown section. <laughs> we'll see if there's anything in the brown section. More clogs. Our fun um, shearling clog thing. We're out of shearling season, I think. 
more my speed again too big this is a fun little cheetah um cap toe suede shoes too big again <laughs> now we go from the blue to the turquoise to the pink orange <laughs> to the red section nothing's jumping out well nothing that can fit so far but i'll keep looking this is a fun spring summer number maybe oh no it's it's breaking we're looking at some boots booties this is fun franco sarto suede also too big it's an eight and a half with this one so this fun beaded number i'm loving these colors for summer Hmm, maybe I have some bags here. Fun Liz Claiborne, um, very Gucci Dionysus style bag. I'm not getting any blazers today, but I thought I'd look. <laughs> I can't not look. I love this little patch here. Um, I've just been, you know, letting colored colors pull me in. This is a fun. I like how this, um, like the angle of this here, that's fun. Um, I love this. This, I love. This is nice. $10, that's not bad. It's by Classiques. That's not um, vintage either, that's pretty new. Liz Claiborne coming in with the houndstooth. It's more like a goldy brown. Nice. What else is this? I saw some velvet. <laughs> velvet. Cut velvet. Interesting. But yeah, so we're just in the suit and I'm just giving it a little look through. I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying any. Oh, nice suede. Brown suede. Hmm. A little corduroy. This is by Sonoma. So just a little... Where does that sell? Is that a Target brand? I don't know. And then we have some softer fabric. Well, you know me, I love me a Casper, but more they're more decorative pieces. But it's always like solid um, quality and structure. But yeah, no blazers, no blazers, no blazers. Let me see color. <laughs> Seen a little checkered. Oh, that's a made well. I'm seeing abstract print. I'm seeing muted print. That's by Chadwick's. I'm seeing. Oh, this is by Jones New York. This is fun. But no. Size 4, my size. <laughs> Alright. The, the blazers go all the way down. I've skipped the navies and come into some more color here. Thoughts. This is a nice long one. This is by Catherine Mandrino. So, not an old brand label at all. Fun. This is like plaid. Some dark blue here. Some smaller check by Jones New York. This is what pulled my eye. This um, <laughs> is by Chica's Design. It's a size 2. Um, I guess this is more like the... Um, Asian inspired it's a quilt as well I mean I have to try it on I'm not, I'm not getting it I'm just trying it on <laughs> what else we have here before I move I love the color on this as well it's a nice greeny yellow color but yeah just some fun like tweed they have a good long blazer section give you some 90s action over here <laughs> Oh yeah, anything else around my eyes this way? Nothing in the reds. Oh, unless we're looking at Crush of Velvet. This is by our Bernard. What else we have up here? Some um, more, more um, Lame um, gold accent by Chico's. They were with the other one a while ago. Um, J. Crew. I feel like I had a jacket like this before. Um, oh, this is a fun um, paisley print. This is giving etro vibes. Oh yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, 
that's pretty much it. Um, well, I have to try on a few, but I'm not taking any blazers today. I quickly ran through tops. There's more than one section of tops. Um, but yeah, nothing jumped out. A lot of them are uh, store brands, except you know this little vintage one. But the color is too dark for me. I did find this uh, knit top, which is a maybe. So I have it in my cart for now. This is a little big, it would need to be fitted, but I love this off the shoulder little <laughs> top. Oh my goodness, if only. I love the buttons right here. Oh, too cute. They also have quite a bit of homeware and tchotchke items that I'm doing my best to stay away from. Here's a, another mother and child little one. Hmm. Wood car, no signage, but lightweight and very cute. A little green turtle if you like <laughs> turtles. I was drawn to this little pig here. It's very heavy. It's marble pig. But yeah, I'm staying away from the tchotchkes. I saw this little crop top and I thought how fun. It is um, by Baby. But it is $40 for the set. It's a two-piece set. But really, I'd only be interested in the top. So <laughs> I don't think I'd do that for $40. I love this red skirt set. These buttons are beautiful. I have buttons like these that I've bought but they're lightweight and like plasticky. These are like strong, <laughs> very good quality vintage buttons. But yeah, these are, this is $50 for the set. Again, it's a skirt set. They have skirt set here. But yeah, love these buttons. <laughs> So I saw this, it's like um, BDG. I love the play of the stripes on it, but of course, anything trendy, it's higher. This is $15. And then, and then I saw this little plaid number. It might be too big, but again, this is Zara. I thrift a lot of vintage. That's because I never regret buying my vintage pieces. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't think I'll pay up for BDG today.
for today's haul, I spent just over $44, so $44 and some cents. And um, spoiler alert, I didn't take any of the uh, overalls. The Dickies, I wanted that because it has the cargo pants and you know we're doing a lot of cargo but i wasn't feeling the pinstripe on that and then um the black ones i'm not sure last minute i kind of chickened out on it which is why i was able to stay um under budget but i'll show you what i did get the first thing i got was this little purse absolutely i had to grab this this is just so perfect for you know spring summer when i want something fun and funky now what i did was um it comes with this you know that generic um strap but this has you know the col the gold color i think is gone or was it supposed to be like a bronze color i don't know but what i did was i just took this is a gold chain um, one of those um, hairpin chains that <laughs> is an actual like choker. <laughs> but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I put something like this on. So I'll get a proper strap for this. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to see what it would look like if I just had a simple um, gold chain. So I'll buy a, um, a short gold one for this. You know, maybe I'll do it a little longer so I can wear it um, under the shoulder. Um, but yeah, so this is the first thing that I got. I just love the colors of this. It'll be very um, fun for spring, summer. So that's the first thing that I got. Next up, if you saw my shorts, I was trying to decide on whether or not I should get some of the jackets that were there. There are some fun um, vintage jackets. I ended up getting two of these. First, this cheetah number. I, you know, I, I'm sure I'd, you know, not like the fact that i left this and the good thing this was like a white tag it was originally ten dollars but white was half off so i got this for five which is how i managed to stay at 44 um instead of going the full 50 so this was actually just for five dollars so you know it worked out and then i got this one that was giving me 100 percent etro vibes like this is absolutely stunning this is by um, Rina Rowan coming with the 90s etro um, <laughs> dupe and I love this it's you know it's like your typical denim jacket style but way more interesting and then this one is by what's that classiques NTA that's what this says so this looks like later this looks like late 90s, early 2000s label. Why this is your good old um, early 90s jam. So good little vintage pieces that I absolutely love. So, so first up is this little um, cheetah print. I decided to keep it nice and casual by wearing blue jeans. And I just got this uh, Gucci Jackie. I love this tan, um, deep tan color for this. And I've gone cheetah crazy and just put on this cheetah booty and... <laughs> some cheetah print here um so yeah so this is what i um had in mind for this just keeping it nice and casual and having something to throw on over a very basic look and punch it up with some animal print but yeah very easy simple little um outfit but also distressed denim and dressy heels will never go out of style so i think you know making it even more relaxed is just by putting on a pair of strappy heels and yeah it's just a fun casual but still quite elevated look so yeah i love 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 this i can just throw this on over t-shirt and jeans and it changes the whole look so that's a good thing with pieces like this so yeah this is my little cropped cheetah jacket i'm glad i <laughs> took it and um it's the first of two even though i said no jackets but these are so different from anything that i have so that's why <laughs> next up is my etro dupe jacket i absolutely love this little thing um i had fallen out of paisley print for a while but i absolutely love it in this jacket and i love these color tones as well i brought out the Prada Galleria for this. I think it goes well with this jacket and I've just put on this little vest under it, you know, kind of dress it up, but keeps it casual at the same time. Kept on the jeans and the heels 
just for a fun little casual daytime look and I think this is so comfortable and so chic and um, I just love 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 this I'm glad I picked this up I wasn't about to look into the jacket section because I'm like too many jackets but then you know I have none like these so <laughs> it's a perfect accent when you just want to put a little more interest in an outfit and so I am so glad I grabbed these so this is the next thing that I got next up I went ahead and grabbed this cute little you know Parisian vibe skirt I love the feminine detail it is more chambray so it's nice and light so this will be great for straight into the summer for this so this is a fun piece and it's actually by Eva Mendes so you know one of those celebrity lines I was probably with um, Nordstrom or one of those brands but yeah very cute very fun so I decided to grab this it does have pockets um, so makes it even more fun so here is my nice feminine little <laughs> Parisian style uh, chambray skirt I was led down a very matchy matchy path today <laughs> So I'm doing this awesome stripe knit. Um, I think this is just uh, St. John's Bay, but of course, you know, the Be Breton stripes um, goes perfectly with this little skirt. So I went down the, not just a Parisian um, rabbit hole, but also um, color rabbit hole. I grabbed the Prada Galeria, Prada Galeria in this baby um, powder blue to go with my blue themes and these Miu Miu um, Mary Janes. So I went very blue for this look. <laughs> um, but I was just feeling this blue. The minute I picked up this sweater, you know, it just all started going down a blue rabbit hole. So this is how I style this. Um, but yeah, it's very cute. It's very sweet. And I wanted to keep it nice and sweet, light. So that's how I ended up down my um blue rabbit hole but yeah very very cute i love the movement in the sweater it does have pockets it's a little big but i can definitely take it in just a little bit and it will be perfectly fine but yeah nice and lightweight so this will take me well through summer as well so i wanted to break up the blue and still keep it nice and light i've just got these lighter um tan colors for this look keeping it still nice and sweet and light but definitely for a cooler spring day this will be a little more in fitting wearing a boot instead of open shoes so yeah just for you know not all blue this time <laughs> i thought i'd just still keep it nice and light and fresh and feminine um with this so yeah definitely definitely love this and yeah perfect 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 little skirt i love it so sometimes there's like one or two items where you're like maybe i should have just you know grabbed that there was this one shoulder black dress with the flutters go, going down which i thought would have been a fun you know could have been casual day event or even night event dress where i just like having something in the closet so if you know i get inspired to just run out i don't have to worry about what I'm gonna wear because I have something um, so that one is like a, maybe I should have gotten it type thing but one dress where the minute I saw it I know it was an obvious obvious choice <laughs> and it is this one. Oh my goodness now this I knew absolutely I had to take this tuxedo um, what do you call it vest dress oh I should have buttoned this up but I wanted to show you the inside look at the detail of this and the workmanship for something that no one's gonna see but it feels quality it feels the nice weighted fabric I love the pleating at the bottom and I just absolutely had to had to grab this this I see you know I can easily just go with the vibe of it and wear um, like a colorful button-down shirt with a black tie and you know nice like boots with this and a hat you know I'm just seeing so many different ways that I could wear this so this was a no-brainer I had to grab this so can't wait to style this up this was by Anthony um, Moorcroft so absolutely stunning love this and yeah I can't wait to try this on <laughs> so let's see what this looks like and finally here is my dress oh <laughs> my 
goodness, look at this. So the fun thing with this is it's so masculine and yet it's so feminine at the same time. I absolutely love this. I've just paired it with this fabulous um, 80s, uh, what do you call this, zebra print shirt and I absolutely love this. Um, I love the drop waist as well. It's giving 1920s throwback. I love the little pockets right here. It does work. It's actual real pockets. Love it, love it, love it. I love how they did the pleats. Um, even though it's such a weighty fabric, um, the weight pulls all the way down to the hem and it just gives it this nice romantic little swish. So a very masculine inspired style, but yet it's such a feminine piece of work with the um, drop waist and the flirtiness in the um, more almost like tailoring um, fabric to get that kind of um, romantic little swish in such a structured fabric. It is absolutely stunning um so i as i don't know this you know is a fun for like daytime cocktail launch type thing and but yes it could still be worn for evening i don't know where i'm wearing it to but it is staying in my closet i have two bags here initially i have this little vintage bag um that i thought would be nice and cute for this but i'm also thinking this for, because it's also um, that masculine, feminine kind of vibe, this might be a little too small, a little too formal for this look. So I just went right back to my um, good old Teddy Blake. This is a cam in the nine inch. I always repeat it just in case anyone is interested because I just love it for almost anything that I'm wearing that I need a little black bag. This is perfect. So this is how I style this. I love it. This is what the back looks like. Um, there is a little room in it if I wanted to. I could probably take this in a little more just to get it a little more fitted like this, I think. Um, but I don't mind it just skimming my figure. It's a lot more forgiving that way. <laughs> but oh my goodness, I absolutely love, love, love this dress. And um, yeah, I can just keep changing out um, the shirts etc i still think you know i could put it on with a crisp white shirt and a black tie and throw a blazer on and it will give it a completely different um more daytime um formal look but you know so much i could do with this but yeah i absolutely love it and just the feel of it on is really exceptional so that's it this is my final gem for the day. This is the gem of the haul. <laughs> I'm calling it. Um, but yeah, so glad I found this and I absolutely love, love, love this. So yeah. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece is your favorite as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.